Hi, hi, this welcome back to the channel Benito by Anna. It's me, Anna, with you here. Today we are on our loveliest Benidorm's beach to discuss all the latest news update, the situation here in Spain, everything that is basically going on in our lovely and sunny country and Benidorm's region. So let's start with the situation. First of all, as we usually do, we finally have the data for yesterday's date. And what we can see actually is that the um, amount of cases it has increased. Remember last week and for the last like two weeks, more or less, we've been discussing all this and we've seen that the amount of cases was like 3,200, 3,300 cases and it was kind of stable. Right now the situation has slightly changed and uh, they've reported 4,286 new cases, which is more than we used to have. And the index started uh, rising slightly faster than it was. Previously, it was like in a day by one point, by two points more or less. And right now it's by five points in the last 24 hours. And the index right now is 67 for every 100,000. It's not a lot still. Okay, it's still not a lot. It's medium risk, but I mean, it's increasing. So a lot of people are worried about what will be happening. Uh, meanwhile, a lot of European countries, they um, basically look at the people who are not vaccinated. This is something that a lot of countries are talking about, not only Spain. Um, everywhere in Europe, they are telling that people that are not vaccinated are getting way more restrictions right now. Some countries are putting the night lockdown like a curfew for those who are not vaccinated. Uh, some people are just locking these people down so they cannot like travel uh, and if someone sees them like traveling without a certificate then that's going to be like a fine you know that they need to pay and few countries even decided to um, finish their work contract basically to fire the people who are not vaccinated this is something that here in Spain it's not going to be happening definitely not We've been checking all the information that the government is providing us as for the day of today. And what they say is that it's totally 100% a no. This is not going to be happening here in Spain. They will not discriminate people, those who are not vaccinated, because um, some people are able to provide a PCR testing or like a fast antigen test, which is also enough to show that they are not sick. Or uh, some people cannot get the vaccination because of their health condition, for example. That's also something that needs to be checked when you take these kind of drastic decisions. Also, why basically Spain is very calm with it? Uh, just because here we are basically at 90% of vaccinated people. So we are okay with it. I mean, all these countries who are inputting uh, severe like control measures, these measures basically are to make people to vaccinate, like make people go and get the vaccine. This is why they're basically doing this, whatever they would say. But the main point is to make people go and get the vaccine. Um, this is why it's basically done. But here in Spain, we don't have this issue. People are getting vaccinated. There are no like drastic movements, anti-vaccination and stuff like this. So we are all OK or good so far. And even the uh, president of our region, of Valencian region, which is Chimo Puig, has said that basically here in all our area, there are not going to be any measures that tourism is safe, no restrictions for bars, for restaurants, for karaoke, for nightlife, nothing will change, like nothing at all will experiment any changes, even though the cases are increasing or will be increasing, unless it's going to be like drastic situation like um like in russia like hundred thousand cases a day a, a lot of deaths uh, hospitals will be like full of people being sick um a lot of like hard difficult cases then it might be something that they would consider but so far this will not be happening so we are able to freely move we're able to celebrate to have our christmas our benidorm fiestas and all different kinds of celebrations, move wherever we want to move, travel, uh, visit a lot of different places without any kind of restrictions, except for the masks um, and hand disinfection and minimum like social distancing. That's basically it. So this is how the things will be continuing. Um, once again, they've reassured 
because the tourism has dropped quite a lot. Once again, they've reassured 100% that no new restrictions are on the horizon. So it's kind of safe to travel. Uh, by this, they are trying to save the tourism as well. As I've told you in the previous news, um, they've seen considerable decrease and they're trying with all the methods and measures that they know that exist to save it and make people understand that it's a still safe destination to travel if you maintain all the measures that you need to. It's safe and it's great to be here in the area. This is basically the situation for the day of today and this is what's going on. The second news that I wanted to let you know is that um, we begin to have approximately the same issue that um, UK had with the transport uh, in terms of like huge trucks that transport different goods, products, food, um, like ele electric uh, devices, everything basically. So there, there was also this kind of problem and now it comes to Spain. It's not as big, not as drastic, okay, but still it is. Um, the transport, like big vehicles, you know, like heavy vehicle transport system has declared that they will go on a manifestation. They will stop working from 20th until 22nd of December. Two days before Christmas Eve, they will stop working which is something that is bothering a lot, uh, Spanish government especially, and a lot of people who live here because we know that prices are increasing. And what else we need? Like if even the transport companies will be protesting and will stop working, that's like even is worsening up all the situation even more. So we don't know what to expect. The government has said, and this is something, this is their words, not mine. They say that there is time and some margin, like some some um, time and place to discuss everything that these companies need and what they actually require from the government. Uh, discuss all this and come to a friendly decision, which would basically avoid these companies from stopping to work on these very, very important days here in Spain for the transport and for all the like shops, supermarkets, for every commercial like areas to have on time all the goods that they are selling on Christmas. Um, so we will see. Basically what they say is that they are feeling kind of abandoned by the government in general um, and by this sector. So like they're not receiving any kind of help. They're being like the forgotten ones uh, at the moment. They also are protesting because the fuel is increasing very much in the price. You know, I've told you about this as well. Right now, the average uh, tank of fuel is approximately 20 euros more expensive than it was before. So it's a big deal when you talk about huge trucks because their tanks like are massive. Um, and also because the work conditions, the most like significant thing is the like very, very basic, quite bad work conditions that they experiment. But even the um, company, which is called Comisiones Obreras, which is like a work commission, workers commission, uh, which is the one who is in charge to see that all the law is being applied and that people will work uh, as many hours that they need to work, that the company is not kind of asking them too much illegally. Uh, even they, they said that they don't want anything to do with these protests because the majority of the problems are coming from the companies themselves. So it's not only like government's fault, um, it's also fault of the companies, of the owners of companies that provide such a bad service and such bad conditions for their workers to work. So we will see what will be happening. So far, we just know that these few days there will be on protests maybe and hopefully this will be something that we are able to avoid just in case because if not prices will rise even more if this will be confirmed and the last news is something that you've been waiting for a while and i will definitely be filming this these are benidorm's fiestas some people online already started to say that benidorm is in fiesta which is not actually true benidorm is starting officially its fiestas today at 6 p.m. in the evening. This is officially the opening of Benidorm's fiestas. Yesterday and the day before, we were not in fiestas just yet. It starts from today evening and finishes up on the evening of Wednesday. At 7 p.m. more or less, there's going to be a very, very nice firework going on here in the area that you'll be able to see from 
any point of Benidorm, but of course the best one will be the viewpoint of the old town or the beach area. And these fiestas, as I've said, they are more towards religious, at least they were like this before. And in the last few years, it's something that has converted itself just to Benidorm fiestas. A lot of people are coming here on these dates. It's so nice to see Benidorm alive and people are just coming to celebrate. People are coming here to spend a few nice days on the sunshine. Today is not sunny, but still um, on the nice warm weather down the beach to try typical traditional food of the area, listen to some music and just have a nice time. Uh, these are basically the fiestas that will be going on from today up until Wednesday and on Thursday, immediately after these official Benidorm fiestas will be over, there is going to be this famous fancy dress party. This is something that especially uh, British people love and this, a lot of you I know specifically are or will be or were before coming for this fiesta. It's only one day it's going to be this Thursday approximately from 12 1 p.m which is when it's going to be way more people on the British street British area here in Benidorm and people will be coming with their best costumes there is going to be even a contest to choose the best costume in the area there are even buses that are traveling from Alicante from Calpe from Altea like all over the place to come here and have this celebration so we'll have a a lot of fun during this weekend a lot of nice things here to do in Benidorm area so if you're arriving these days you are very very lucky because you will see traditional Benidorm celebrations in here these were basically all the news and the weather will be something that worries a lot of people a lot just knowing that it's fiesta time it's time for a celebration and if it's going to be raining what will be happening with the weather looking at all this that is happening here down the beach so the weather will be more or less the same as it was these few uh, last days it's true that there is still some storm right there at the sea i will show it to you you can see that right there there is a lot of storm there is still a very very heavy rain but it's something that we know it's not here in the area. Meteorologists basically say that it should not be raining here in Benidorm at least today in the evening and tomorrow day. We will see what will be happening on Sunday and Monday because there there might be some more rain coming up. And as for now, the rain will stay at the sea, Balearic Islands and on the north parts of Spain. The rest will be cloudy or sunny as you can see on the map. And on Sunday, as I've said, rain will be coming back again. It will be covering all the north part of Spain, as you can see right here, and our Mediterranean area. So uh, even though it will be the case, the temperatures will be approximately the same. They will not change almost at all here in the area, which is great news, even though it might be raining slightly in here. Um, tomorrow, even the temperatures will might rise by a few degrees on the back like on the down half of Spain and today in Alicante it's expected to have approximately 23 degrees in Benidorm it's going to be 21 more or less uh, in Barcelona 20 Granada 20 same in Malaga in Sevilla Madrid will have 16 degrees Murcia 23 it's still very nice and warm and cozy in there Balearic Islands 18 slightly less because there it's raining the majority of parts of the day and Canary Islands between 23 and 24 degrees today. And right now we see there's even a slight wind every now and then blowing here at the beach area. In the city center where you're covered with buildings, you do not actually feel the wind so much as you can here on the beach area. I hope you enjoyed today's news, you guys, and I hope you'll be having a wonderful weekend. Today in the evening, I will go and film for you guys the beginning of Benidorm's Fiesta. So tomorrow morning or more or less midday, make sure you visit the channel because you will have this video already uploaded and waiting for you to see. I wish you a lovely day of today and I'll see you tomorrow with the Benidorm's Fiesta's video. Bye everyone!